Oh no! Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to Kink the Sport Creations. Now then, have you ever wondered which is better, a hand plane or one of these big things, these great big belt sanders? They both kind of do the same job, don't they? Uh, taking a piece of wood, making it nice and flat and smooth to the touch. Um, one uses electricity, the other uses a little bit of arm power. Um, so which one should you invest in? Is there a particular one that works better than another? Well, that's what we're here to check out today. Um, I have my preference of what I use over the years, but let's try and look at the pros and cons of each of these two and see where we end up. Now then, little side note, notice I'm not talking about a hand plane versus a power plane. Um, there's, there's good reasons for that. There's two different versions of a hand plane. One is the big plane of thicknesses that you need a big space in your workshop and your feet grip big lumps through. Um, and they work really, really well, but you do need a big workshop. And if you're doing something like a tabletop that's really wide, it's not going to fit through. It's still going to need finishing off anyway. There's another type that looks a little bit like one of these, but has a rotating blade in the middle. I've had one before. It scared the potatoes out of me and didn't particularly give me a nice finish either. So I'm going to put those out the way. More likely, you're going to either go for a belt sander or a hand plane. So let's look at the pros and cons of both. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like button and click that subscribe and the little notification bell thingy as well. Let's dive in. So, here we go. I've got this big chunk of, of wood I'm going to cut out for a leg for a desk that I'm making currently at the moment. And it comes as PSE wood, which is planed squared edge. So you think, oh, planed, it's already done and finished. Not quite. It means it's, it's put down to a set size is the main important thing. You'll quite often find with PSE uh, that you get ridges going across it where that rotating blade in the great big factory machines uh, get rushed through and it gets it down to a nice level but it's not a finished level that you might want to stick with when you're building something so we need to go through with both of these and we'll si see which one we prefer now i'll be honest i've never done a direct back-to-back -back comparison before so i'm quite interested to see um, as we go through this which one of these just gives us a, a clear better result here and now um, I've got my preferences of which one I prefer to use, but does one give a better result than another? Well, let's have a look. Okay, so that's that top edge run through with the belt sander. And it's given us a very flat, very smooth finish. Just pick out on these areas where you've still got some score lines that are going to need sanding out. Um, and it's not a very heavy grip paper that's on that belt either. But that has given us a very pleasant finish. Right, now let's see what kind of finish we get with the hand plane. And there's the finished side with the hand plane, which I've got to say is a smoother finish. Uh, it's more glass-like as it goes through. Um, definitely needs less sanding uh, than the belt sander gave us. Okay, so a fractionally better result, um, possibly a little bit more effort. What we do find with a hand plane is that if the grain goes in a different direction for a tiny friction, like around that knot, we just get a slightly rougher finish there. Whereas the belt sander doesn't care which side the grain goes, it just muscles its way through it. 
So straight away we can look at the results and go, well, there's not a lot in it. Um, the belt sander gives us a very smooth, very flat finish, uh, regardless of what the grain's doing. Okay. Uh, the hand plane gives us a, a smoother, glassier finish, but you've got to think about grain patterns as you go through. Hmm. What about actually using them though? Well, the belt sander, you can just pick it up and muscle your way through. Okay. Um, you do need to be careful that you don't stay in one spot for very long, otherwise you'll end up with big divots everywhere. So you need to continually move it up and down as you go through. But it's very noisy and it's full of dust and you've got to have doors open and ventilation and if you've got an extractor fan great use that as well eye things mouth things protections covering your ears i don't like it because of that it might give me the same result but it's something that i don't particularly like using in a small workshop the hand plane is beautifully quiet you can hold the conversation while you use it um, and i get great satisfaction from just using one um, that's entirely up to you which one you prefer um, would i go for one without the other no i think i definitely want both in my workshop i tend to use the belt sander um, more like a grinder to be honest than anything else so i'll turn it upside down stick it in my work vice um, and use it as a as a sharpening aid if i need to grind a, one of the bevels down a little bit further i might use it for that or for rounding over the end of a, of a stick, if I want a, a ball end on there, I might just turn it on top of the, of the belt sander and use it that way around. Um, but 95% of the time, if I just want to smooth something out, I'm going to pick up the hand plane and I'm going to go with that. So once you've decided which one you want to go for, or maybe you decide, actually, I could do with both. I know I do. I wouldn't get rid of one of them or the other. Um, you don't need to spend a lot of money on a belt sander. OK, um, so I can't even remember where I got this from, um, probably the Internet somewhere or just a local DIY shop. Um, it probably didn't cost me a great deal more than 25, 30 quid, maybe something like that. Um, unless you're using one all the time, every day, then you might want to start investing a little bit higher in them. But for me, it'll do. Um, the thing to remember with a belt sander is obviously we need to replace the belts. We need to replace those sanding depth belts. Um, they're very different grades. So with that, if you're going to use this as your permanent flatting technique, you're going to need a few different grades and you're going to need to swap them out. So you might want a couple of 80 grits to take the hard stuff down and then some 120, some 240s, and it will still want a little bit of hand sanding at the end to really get it to, uh, to shine nicely. Um, hand planes. <sighs> There's a lot of different types this is one that you'll see in a lot of places this is a number four okay so invented by stanley but this one's a, a record one there's lots and lots of different variations on these and they're all much of a muchness if we're honest um, you can buy new ones of these um, you tend to pay quite a lot of money for a new one because they, they need to be quite good for the older ones the vintage ones like this one was um, you can get them from car boot sales are brilliant ask your granddad's mate if he's got one he's not using um or you know your internet auction sites that's where i got mine from um and you keep on top of it and a lot of people say oh but you've got to be able to sharpen your blade and everything else well you've got to replace the sandpapers on your belt so it's no different from there and sanding it is not a tricky thing please check out the the sharpening video that i've done on here it's so quick simple and cheap it's unreal. So don't avoid using a plane just because you're scared of sharpening it. Um, one thing I found at the beginning, let me grab the very first plane I bought. So this is the first plane I ever bought. And to be honest, it put me off using hand planes. I used power stuff for a long time. I was a bit Tim Allen on home improvements. Remember that? <laughs> More power. Um, I was a bit like that for a long time. And to be honest, this plane was one of the reasons for that, because I didn't like it. Um, I didn't know how to sharpen the blade properly, okay, which makes a huge difference. Um, the adjustment mechanism on here just isn't easy to use. To try and make tiny adjustments is very, very difficult. On the number four, you've got this wheel at the back, which is superb. It makes it so easy. 
it's very light so it needs a little bit more work than this one does and it's just a bit nasty uh, i've since uh, turned this into a scrub plane so you can see the massive curve that's on that blade so it's just a big thick cut it's for taking off massive chunks in one go um, and it's brilliant for that it does a great job for that but for actually trying to smooth things off using one of these not nice at all so have a hunt around find one of these find a number four that's the kind of standard thing there's millions of them around seriously there's just they're all over the place um so you can find them and once you start getting into hand planes it's kind of like driving down a, a rabbit hole you end up then going for all the different numbers and block planes and low angle planes and you you start going down that but it's a beautiful thing they're a wonderful thing so hopefully that's given you a little bit of an idea as to which one you might want to spend a couple of quid on and again neither of these are particularly expensive and quite useful to have both in the workshop um, like i say i definitely use the belt sander but not for the same reason that i pick up a hand plane and i think that's where we need to differentiate between the two once you get used to using a hand plane you'll just love them and they will give you a better result you, you just don't need to sand after using uh, a hand plane at all beautiful stuff um, so there we go what's your preference leave a comment down below if you've only used one or the other or you've had bad experiences of one let me know um, which one do you prefer which one are you going to invest in next okay until next time champ your tools or buy a new sandpaper blade and away we go we'll see you next time bye bye